thing that clairvoyants and psychics started doing more recently. They thought if we could make things levitate, surely that would prove spirit existed. Hmm. Maybe. So what would they have done? Well, we're going to take a look at this now. Again, I always use people in my show. I can't do without them. Um, let's have a look over here. I think uh, maybe, uh, if I can borrow this gentleman here for a moment. What's your name, sir? Barry. Thank you, Barry. Just come on this way. Hold the applause for a moment. Um, just wait at the bottom of the steps there for me, Barry. And uh, I think maybe... Um, I think we will. I was waiting for the giggle. What's her name? Summer. 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 Come on, Summer. Come on, Summer. Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Summer. Come on up. Nothing like that. Come on up to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I say, come up to the stage. Give another huge round of applause, please. Thank you. You might just come stand here for a moment. I'll be with you in a second. Sir, if I can bring you over to the chair here. Um, if you'd like to just take a take a seat here for a moment, that's excellent. Now uh, here I have a chalkboard. Okay, let's give it a little wipe off. There we go. And just give that a feel. Make sure it's a real chalkboard. Nothing up with that. And the back, nothing at all there. Yeah. yeah? So nothing strange going on. It's pretty simple, pretty normal. Okay. A little bit wet. <laughs> But apart from that, it's okay. Now, here, you just hold on to that for me. Um, you see this little clippy? You just pop it out like that. And uh, can you hold on to that? And uh, in here, if you have a look, just an envelope. Yep. Okay? So we're just going to pop this in side of the envelope like so. And uh, there. Ah, thank you. A little bit of chalk here. Now watch this. That's the front of the chalkboard. I'm going to drop it in yeah. into the back. Okay. okay. And um, I just want you, if you will, let's just fold that back over. Let's pop that pin through. That's excellent. And let's just seal it off. Now, this is very important. I want you to, um, if you will for me, I want you to hold it like this. Not on your knees, but up like that so everyone can see it. That's it. So perfectly just like that for me, okay? Good. And uh, is that okay with you? All right with that? Excellent. Hello, sweetheart. Summer. Lovely. Summer. The cl uh, clairvoyants and psychics would suggest, you know, for people to come up that wanted to contact somebody that's passed on and so forth like that. Now, I'm going to ask you, if you will, to write in capital letters the initials of somebody that's either passed on, but for our sake, it could be somebody that's still alive today. Okay, I don't want you to pick somebody passed on if it's going to be emotional for you, you see. So it could be absolutely anybody, but somebody you know, okay? Um, and I want you to put their initials here in capital letters, just the two initials, okay? So me, A-M. You know, all right? But whatever you like, but don't let me see, and just tell me when you've done that. So take that, and uh, there's a pen for you. I'll turn away, and just, just tell me, yeah, just the initials of the person that you want to contact, or, uh, you know, and uh, let me know when you've done that. You done? Now, fold that card in half, and I'll take the other cards off you and the pen, if you like. You keep that one. I'll take all the cards and the pen. That's excellent. And the pen there. Good. Now, over here, we have what is a spirit box. If you'd just like to come and drop that into the spirit box for me, that's excellent. And just close the lid. Now, here's what we're going to do. This spirit box ensures that that person's energy can't just escape, it can only work through the table. And what they would suggest is by holding just the corners of the tablecloth, that the spirit can connect to the person and allow my energy and their energy to make the table lighter than air and supposedly levitate with the power of spirit. We're going to try it. Okay? Now first, if you just want to just stand here, because I want you just to look at the box, and I want you to focus on their name, that person's name, but don't say anything, okay? Just focus on their name and just imagine them. I'm just going to take the edges of the tablecloth here. 
allow them to be here. That's right. Keep focusing all the time, please, on that box. Just keep your focus there. Keep your focus on that box all of the time for me. Just keep your focus all there on that box. Will them to go, will them to go back down, that's good. Excellent, that's great, we're doing good. Okay, well done, well done. That's the focus I need, you did brilliant, Summer. Wait there a moment. Hey? No, is anything, anything, anything at all going on over here? Any funny business, nothing, it's normal, it's sealed, nobody's been around it. Keep hold of that for me. <laughs> we do know that, that means they are still in the box. <laughs> Okay, now I would like you to come forward. I want you just to hold on to the ends of the cloth there like that. Okay, now I want you to focus for me. Focus on the box and ask them to rise in your own mind and just go with it. Just go with it. That's it. Go with it. Go with it. That's it. Now keep that focus because now it's all over to you. We'll take them out of the box. Keep that focus right there. That's it. Now they're now out of the box. Out of the box. Just go with it wherever it goes. Just go with it so they can leave the table. They've left the table and down they go. Down they go. They have left the table. That's good. You can let go. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a big round of applause, please. Wow. Excellent. Step forward. I'm just going to take this microphone here for a moment. Now, nobody knows what those initials were that you were thinking of. You put them in the box, and only you know. This is the first time I've asked you what they are. Could you say nice and loud the two letters, the initials of the person you were thinking of? R-S. R-S. Is that right? Sir, did you feel anything happen strange over here? No, nothing. Nothing? Not really. So something could have happened. <laughs> Okay, strange vibrations, hair standing up, nothing like that. I'd like you now, if you will, just to undo the clip of the envelope for me. Every spirit, if they really did come here today, will leave a message of some kind. Take the uh, um, chalkboard out, have a look at it first. Okay, let's take a look at that. We've got an S there, we've kind of got an R that way. Yeah, was it, was it SR? Oh, R, S. Well, that's why it's kind of in reverse then, isn't it? Yes. What does it say? R, S. R, S. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Thank you very much. Give these two guys a big round of applause. Thank you, Summer. Be careful on the way down. Thank you very much, sir. You're a legend. Thank you. Be careful on the way down. Oh, yeah. First, I've got to say a big thank you for all the volunteers. My show without volunteers would be short. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a 10 to 15 minute break where you can get drinks in at the bar, you can go out and have a bit of fresh air. Uh, just 10 or 15 minutes, then we need you back in your seats because I will then be looking for as many people as possible to join me here on the stage. People with an open mind game for a laugh who want to be hypnotized, and you will be the lucky ones that get hypnotized. That's coming your way in 10 or 15 minutes time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.